Hi students, welcome back to once again VR Academy. Today we will discussing the important bits in biology. So what are the diseases? What are the cause of diseases? So what we have to take the precautions. With the most important bits regarding the examination purpose. So please read and watch our video if you are like. Please subscribe, like and share our video. So go through. So we are discussing about these bits. The first question, what is meant by vaccination? So it is a biological preparation that improve the immunity to a particular disease. That is called vaccination. The second question, who was invented the vaccination? The first vaccination is invented by the, the first person who used the vaccination by Edward Jenner. This is the most important, very, very important bit. Then in the 1970, you can get the smallpox. It is caused by the virella virus. It is a bristles like, look like a water bubbles, breaks easily and it causes, if you are not clean, it causes the infection of the body. So the list, the list of important vaccinations, the vaccine and what we have to take the Precautions and uh, preventations. Anthoxy, anthoxy disease. So this is the, the main caused by the infected animals when you are uh, touching or handle the animals. They are the very dangerous. The next point. BCG. Trubulonchus. This is called TB. Belsius, Clamate and Gunan, the live in bacteria, the live in bacteria. So this is the disease is affected a person through most probably in your his in his lungs. This is the main important. This is very serious virus impacted of a person is suffering this disease BCG. So the BCG vaccine must be take 1 to 16 years. That is the most important. It is seriously infection. Bacterial disease is mainly affected lungs. It can, it can be spread through cough, seizing. Okay. So every year, this is the very dangerous this Every year, one million of uh, people are affected through airborne. The next bit, DPT vaccine. The vaccine, and this is DPT vaccine, diphtheria. So what is diphtheria? It is serious disease affected a person in nose or in throat, a thick grey color sheet are forming at back of the your neck. So making your breathing will be trouble. So that is the dangerous disease. Next. The second one, petrous disease. It is very seriously affected in the human being. So the respiratory system will infected. Next one, tetanus. 
it is also dangerous disease in our human body through bacterial infection so this causes the painful of muscles it is also called the most important point you, you must be note it is also called log jaw log jaw of the human body locking jaw of the human body this is next polio vaccine so the polio vaccine the po polio vaccine this is the polio vaccine is also is very dangerous to the human body and it damage the central nervous system to paralyze temporarily or permanently our hands and legs a rabies vaccine so this is the rabies this rabies is impacted when a for example a dog bite so that the disease will spread through the saliva the next question yellow fever yellow fever so yellow fever is a disease is most of the spreading in south america and african countries when you are traveling abroad you must be vaccinated the yellow fever vaccine so this is the one type of files and the mosquito if he bite the death will leaks leads so when you are anybody have to go to the abroad you must be vaccinated the yellow fever that is the injection next what is the vitamin it is a organic compound required as a nutrition tiny amount of organisms the nutrient the vitamins the next question in which vitamin cannot be obtained by food vitamin d only obtained can synthesized by the skin of the presence of ultraviolet radiations you can get the vitamin d from the sunrise the sunrise ultraviolet radiation radiations you can get from the sun only you cannot be obtained any food the next question what is necessary for vitamins so what is the necessary of the vitamins may its dif difference results like goitra so goitra means this is the thyroid disease so the thyroid glands are present in our neck in both sides it is a butterfly butterfly like structure so this is the most important of the goitra so the thyroid glands are secreting the thyroxin so if the deficiency is most probably it leads to the iodine deficiency so it, it if the goitra disease is occurs the metabolic activities will be decreases so it is very 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 dangerous the next scurvy the scurvy disease is most probably is caused by the lack of vitamin c it is organized citrus fruits and vegetables it is organic caused by the vitamin c in a diet the next point osteoporosis so it is a disease is caused same as bones in which the bones it becomes so brittle and fatigue from the loss of tissues then once it changes the deficiency in the calcium in our body so d vitamin d vitamin is the most essential to recovery of this disease so same as disease there are the three types of disease i have they are the one is the rickets the rickets disease most probably is affected in the children so when the children 
maybe sometimes it fell down so the bronze will bakes so that is the rickets so the next one astra malaysia so astra malaysia disease also it is the break of the bones and becomes a soft this is the disease this is the three diseases so for the bones deficiency of the d vitamin next question if the vitamins are excess in our body it is dangerous to our body it can cause us the jaundice nausea binary vision of muscles pain so the main cause of jaundice it is caused by the the build up of bilirubin it in the into our blood it is a pale yellow color it occurs of in, in the it occurs if the liver cannot on sufficiently working so the rbc the breakdown normally in healthy newborn babies so the bilirubin passing to the liver the next one binary vision binary vision means so when the lens are not functioning in our eye so the salivary muscles are adjustment from the lens and retina so when the lens are damaged or scratched so when we are reading or writing so the binary vision will be happens so this is the defect as due to the over vitamins so muscle pain also it will leads to the over vitamins extra vitamins carbohydrates deficiency if the carbohydrates are deficiency it leads to the low energy the carbohydrates must be in the living organisms if it is low it must be low energy if the excess if the carbohydrates are excess so diabetes obesity so generally when we are eating the food for example rice the 15 to 20 minutes within the 15 to 20 minutes the 30% of food is digested in our mouth with the help of the saliva and then after directly transfer into the small intestine when the small intestine it the liver can be converted into the glucose so if the excess of the carbohydrates the rice especially rice it contains carbohydrates if your excess carbohydrates are eat the liver cannot be produce insulin pancreas gland cannot be increase excess so this glucose cannot be converted into the insulin so the insulin cannot be controlled of the dia this glucose this directly transfer into our the cells so that is the diabetes same as the obesity so next fats deficiency so fats deficiency none nothing will happen if the excess cardiovascular disease arises so it leads to blockage of our veins arteries so proteins the protein deficiency kawasaki disease it means you can see in the oh, when the news in the african people the small childs are having a thin leg and hands and the stomach becomes big so that is the deficiency of the proteins so excess deficiency means that is the deficiency will happen most probably when you and we are watching the movie uh, i'm sorry you know when we are watching the news channels uh, in the african countries uh, the child sir appears like that only so if the excess excess low bp headache and low heartbeat rate the heartbeat rate must be in the healthy person 72 to 75 so that is the rate so the heartbeat rate will be decreases it will leads to the death so very very dangerous 
the next question sodium the deficiency hyponatremia electrolyte imbalance the sodium must be 80 to 85 percent must be if the deficiency of the sodium it leads to the very dangerous to our human body the next one iron the deficiency of iron is anemia anemia so excess cirrhosis disease chronic liver disease cirrhosis disease is also occurred due to the dusty area or sand area so this will disease also can be occurs the next question vitamin a the deficiency of vitamin a night blindness the most probably they must be eat the carrot carrot is the best vitamin a zero pilomia dry eyes when you are watching the old person the old person you have to observe the the eyes are becomes very small so excess aprovitamolsia is a birth defect liver problems osteoporosis next one what are the fats fats are consists of fatty acids bonded to glycerol and fatty acids are carboxylic acids that contains long chain of carbon and hydrogen atoms next question how many types of fats are there there are two types of fats one is the saturated fats and another one is the unsaturated fats the these are the two one is the saturated fats and another one the unsaturated fats the saturated fats are the very harmful to the human body the unsaturated fats are good saturated fats are generally at the room temperatures are solids example butter so the unsaturated fats are liquids at the room temperature example olive oils the next question what are the most important nutrients this is the most important question these are six major nutrients so these are carbohydrates fiber fats proteins minerals and nutrients the release of ovum from the ovary is called the ovulation the ovulation takes place so 12 to 13 days after the menstrual cycle will starts so graphin folic repetitions the ovum generally the ovulation will takes place means so when the egg is released of 12 to 13th day of the menses day from menses days to we have to consider so at the same time the egg will release so this graphic this breakdown of the egg through corpus luteum so corpus luteum it will do help to break of the egg at the same time the male gametes are uh, meet to the egg and travel through the fallopian tubes to the uterus in the uterus uh, so it will form the zygote if the ovum reaches the uterus via fallopian tubes 13th to 14th day and remains up to 16 to 48 hours 48 hours 16 from 40 sorry 48 hours to 72 hours so what is uh, peripheral nervous systems 
పెరిపిల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆర్ క్యారీడ్ అవుట్ ఇంపిల్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సెంట్రల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ జనరలీ ద నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆర్ టూ టైప్స్ వన్ ఇస్ ద సెంట్రల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ అదర్ వన్ ద పెరిపిరల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ ద సర్వ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ ద సెంట్రల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ ద బ్రెయిన్ అండ్ అవర్ స్పెనల్ కార్డ్ సో ద పెరిపిరల్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ ఈజ్ ద బ్రాంచెస్ ఆఫ్ స్పెనల్ కార్డ్ త్రూ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ యువర్ వన్ ఓవర్ ద బాడీ so what are the motor motor nerve systems which carry information sensory receptors to central nerve system the next question what is meant by om medulla oblongata is present it is a lower most part of the brain located at the base of the skull so these are the most important bits regarding the biology so the next video also we will release the biology so we are already discussed two papers we are already two papers we are already two papers the general science physics and chemistry the most important bits physics and chemistry then we already discussed two papers at the same time then we are preparing this biology also two important papers because the within one week or 10 days the general science the examinations are conducted so examinations are going through the government so i hope you if you are like you please like and subscribe and share our videos and encourage us then we are prepare more videos for the future purpose